Welcome to St. Mary's. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, morning, our song shall rise to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you, and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. My brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind, or greed, must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly, and vulgar talk. But instead, let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator or impure person or one who is greedy, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be associated with them. For once you were in darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord.
Behave like God as beloved children. Behave like God as beloved children. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. Behave like God, as beloved children. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. Behave like God, as beloved children. The wicked are not so but are like chaff that the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Behave like God as beloved children. Alleluia. holy in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, but not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen long years, be set free from this bondage, on the Sabbath day. When Jesus said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. The Gospel of the Lord. And the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things he was doing. We see in today's gospel a beautiful example of the compassionate love of Jesus to set the captives free, to heal the brokenhearted, those who have been oppressed by the evil one. 
And this woman, it's, it's very uh, dramatic, but also very visible, right? She was a woman who was bent over, unable to stand up straight because of this affliction that she had been crippled for 18 years. And Jesus lays his hands upon her with great compassion and restores her from that bent condition to standing up straight. Many of you have seen perhaps uh, pictures of different saints. Uh, I had a statue for many years of St. Francis of Assisi. And it was, this, it was like this, Francis of Assisi just standing up straight with his arms open, just praising God for all of creation, right? And it was C.S. Lewis who once in one of his writings wrote, and I never forgot it, he says, what sin has done to us, when man sinned in the beginning, Adam and Eve, he became bent. Our wills became bent instead of straight. And we became bent. And that condition is kind of a symbol of fallen nature. Instead of being straight, and focused on God, we became bent over, turned in on ourselves, self-focused, self-absorbed, self-centered, selfish, self-righteous. <laughs> Many years ago, I did the 30-day Ignatian exercises. The first week, you're supposed to meditate on your sinfulness. And I had this revelation that all my sins could be summarized as sins of the self. <laughs> Just as I've mentioned, self this, self that. Whereas, you know, our focus is meant to be on the Lord and to be focused on him. And so Jesus, in healing her of her crippledness, is really restoring her to her proper position. And this is where this healing and we're meant to see it in all the healing stories. Well, actually, in all the stories of Scripture, we're meant to put ourselves into that position. And you think, well, I can't identify with this bent woman because I'm not crippled. Well, actually, we all are. We're all crippled. We're all crippled by sin. We're all bent by sin. Our wills are bent. Our nature has been bent, twisted, crippled. Sin is a disease. Sin is an infection. Sin is a paralysis. It, 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 it cripples us. And Jesus comes to heal and restore us so that we can have liberty, freedom, and live that fullness of life that he came to offer us, to restore creation to its original condition. And actually, not just to restore, but even to elevate human nature now so that we can become, as St. Peter says in his letter, partakers of the divine nature. Not just perfect human beings, but partakers of the divine nature. That's what we're called to. And in Christ, that's what's possible. And we know that because we see in the lives of the saints, men and women, who exemplified that. And we are all called to be saints. And it's through, of course, the the grace of the sacraments that we can be healed ourselves and restored. For most of us, the healing is more gradual. It doesn't happen so dramatically like we see, although there can be moments in our lives when we are suddenly healed and set free by the Lord. So let us then uh, give thanks to the Lord, rejoicing with the crowd as in today's gospel, but also bringing our infirmities to the Lord. Just like this woman, she came to the synagogue, she came to Jesus. Let us then bring all the infirmities of our, of our hearts, our minds, our spirits, our souls, as well as our bodies, trusting in his healing mercy and grace. Our Mass this morning is being offered for Lois McPhee. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. 
opened my eyes, let me see beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful too. King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're mine. God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Terence, our Bishop, Marcel, his coadjutor, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander now throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You may 